Sir, sorry to yes, interrupt, please, but um, first I want to thank you and your administration. Your involvement on the OPEC deal was uh, cr incredible, vital. It wouldn't have happened without what you, you did. Your whole team has been very focused on energy. I do think one issue that a number of us are starting to have concerns about is there are big American financial institutions that the federal government has helped many times. They're going to do well in, with regard to facilitating some of the CARES Act stuff. They're starting to discriminate against American energy companies, discriminate against investment in my state, in Alaska. And I think it's going to be really important. These, like big, these big Wall Street banks that, wanna, yeah. that want uh, the federal government to help support them, and then they That's discriminate true. against a critical sector of the U.S. economy. By the way, the sector in the 2008-2009 recession that really drove us out of our recession. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they should be allowed to do that, sir, and I know you have I concerns about I like the idea of that. looking into that. You're right. You know, that got where they were pushed by the radical left, and so they're afraid of the radical left. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid of the radical left. Very nice people, AOC plus three, and all of her friends. Uh, but you shouldn't be afraid of them. You should uh, reason with them, and if they don't reason, you do what's right. Uh, you cannot be discriminated against these great energy companies. And there is. I've heard that from them, that it's sure. very hard. One of the banks, I think, they said, we want to be out of energy by 20, 2050. That's a long time. But they want to be out of energy. What's that all about? They want to be out of energy. So, you know, we're blessed in this country because we're sitting on top of tremendous wealth. Very few countries have that kind of wealth. We're bigger than Saudi Arabia. We're bigger than Russia. We're bigger than any other country in terms of our energy. And a lot of things like the Paris Accord, uh, the Paris Accord basically took your wealth away. It didn't give you the advantage. And I said, I won't sign it because it took the wealth of this country away because they didn't want us to use our energy. They didn't want us to use our, our great asset. We have tremendous wealth. You know, one of the uh, interesting things, if you look at Iran and you look at Saudi Arabia and you look at the big, vast waterways that we patrol, uh, years and years and years gratis for nothing so that other people got rich, so that we could get oil out of there, but so that other people got rich. We never got anything. Now we get things for it. But we don't have ships very much in there anymore. And with all of the conflict and all of the things, they kept saying, where are the American ships? We have so much energy now. We're sitting on so much. And it's happened really over the last three years, three and a half years we've made it. One thing that happened, great, John, I mean, if, if you look, uh, John, you were even in favor of it because you're an energy person, but we helped Alaska, but we really helped the United States with Anwar for Dan. And they did a, a fantastic job. Uh, Ronald Reagan tried to get it approved. Couldn't do it. Every president tried to get Anwar. They couldn't do it. I got it approved. Yes, sir. Great. People don't even talk about it. And that's OK. They don't have to talk about it. That's why I talk about it. <laughs> we love nobody it else will. Well. But Anwar is perhaps the largest find in the world, right? It could be, but it's could certainly be. one of them. Yes, sir. But it's been talked about for years, probably one of the, maybe the largest find anywhere in the world. And we got it approved a year ago. And uh, you're working on it, and it's uh, incredible. But uh, Ronald Reagan could not do it. He said that was one of his big disappointments. He could not get Anwar uh, approved. They couldn't get it through. And we got it through. We got it passed. And that was a great achievement for everybody in this room. And it was a great achievement, actually, for the two of you, the, the big oil guys, right? It was a big, uh, and, and I have to say, these senators and the people in this room, they love energy, not that they love it. They love the jobs it produces, and they like what it represents, and it gives us total independence. So it's very important.